I'm a United States Air Force vet. I suffered a spinal cord injury in 1991 as a result of an auto accident in which I tried to re-enter re my career field in aviation maintenance technology. I'm an aircraft mechanic. It's real good at it too. And as a result of me not able to turn a wrench, you know, my country's, you know, deemed me unemployable, unfit for society. And the ADA would guarantee that I'm fit for society. The, the 20th anniversary of the ADA means that I have the right in the United States of America as well as other Americans do to uh, reside in the community with, this, with the civil rights and civil liberties that everyone else has. It's my foundation that ensures that my rights are guaranteed. The ADA has affected me in such a way since I suffered my spinal cord injury in 1991 that will provide me full inclusion into society, uh, not more, not you know, more focus uh, in the District of Columbia. You know, that's my focus area where I was denied access into buildings, access on the in the transportation. I um, share a a particular story with you that will kind of define what does it means to me. You know, my as an African American, my senior leaders tell me, were educated me on a time when African Americans were, uh, um, um, were, were, were had to ride in the back of the bus. You know, now with the ADA, you know, now I know uh, my, my senior leaders within the, uh, the disability movement, you know, share with me that at that time, you know, individuals with disabilities weren't able to get on the bus. And this applies to, to, to this day. So what the ADA means to me is that now I am able to ride on a bus or take any other public transportation options that are available to the general public. So it means that I am included in society again. I have seen significant legislative changes for inclusiveness for persons with disabilities around access, uh, around benefits, uh, transportation, employment, housing. You know, I've seen enforcement of these uh, uh, these rights. I actually, in my community, I see a lot of signage. I see awareness uh, to the general public of of the ADA and persons with disabilities. Education, education of the new leadership that's are uh, that's coming in to Congress. Education of industry types, industrial, uh, realtors, um, uh, the medical profession around personal disabilities and the awareness. We need more enforcement. Uh, we need more opportunities for economic development. And we also, we just need a general um, campaign that will target you know, society as a whole, so they can understand that being disabled is not a sickness. It's just a dexterity, a physical condition. That we are, you know, uh, pretty much a major part of society and we contribute to society. We are not deemed unfit for society and that needs to be changed.